going to be a Nordstrom haul. I was not planning on filming at all today. We had some showings and I was exhausted from the heat. It's only like 88 but seriously and there's no humidity but it is getting so hot and it's not even May. <laughs> Film what I got for Mother's Day. My husband sent me shopping which I think is like a lot of people might think it's like the easy way out but that's exactly what I want because he'll do like the spa thing or he'll do like the surprise pedicure that he's booked but sometimes I just like want him to like give me his credit card and um, go shopping. Of course he gives me a budget, I mean he's not stupid. That's what happened earlier today. I Instagrammed a picture of it. Follow me on Instagram. But I changed my name again. Okay, I know, I'm like Prince. But I changed it because I didn't realize I could put like an underscore underneath uh, my, underneath my, like next to my name. So it's flowerbomb31 underscore. I, it was flowerbombed31, but if you just like link it below or click the Click the link below it it should just take you right there so that is it i swear and that's gonna be my name until i decide not to have a name and people will just call me the artist formerly known as flower bomb 31. all pretty much nordstrom stuff that hopefully you i cut on sale like when i have a budget like i used to be like this is like more information that you probably don't really care about but i used to be i used to hate budgets and now like I kind of want some boundaries so I can get like the most bang for my buck and of course I got some makeup but this was on like several stops to Nordstrom but then this the clothes is just was all today I got it at this place called I can't even remember on sale like this one was on sale this must be like an older style because this was on sale with like a couple of other ones and um, I took it because it was on sale and then like all the stores were having like an additional 25% off so I snagged it and I think it's so cute and it's really flattering on. I will put the link below to you know wherever I can find it online for you. I shopped at Anthrop Anthropology, and I have to tell you I've never shopped there before. I love their stuff but it's really expensive but I absolutely love the layout. It's like you're in somebody's home. The dressing rooms are like this rustic. Like, I just felt like I was in a different world. I love it there. So I actually got another thing that was on sale. This is what I Instagrammed. And I got it in petite, I think. It's, the stuff there seems to run kind of big. So this is an extra small. And, oh, it's so cute. It's really cute. This is, yeah, it's an extra small petite. And it's by the brand Bordeaux. And I'll try to find it online for you, but it's got like the, it's a color block t-shirt. And then this is the back of it. So incredibly cute. So it was on sale. So it was an originally $58 on sale for $39.95. And then you got an additional 20% off. So that was a steal and I'm just obsessed with that. Right. Okay, so the things that I got Nordstrom, my friend Carly, she works there at the Giorgio Armani counter. She is this, uh, the counter manager. I'm going to put all of her information below because... I'm going to show you the stuff that I got with my makeover with her and then the things that she helped me with because if you work at Nordstrom, you can like walk around with the person. It's totally relaxed there. And so I got this top. It's so cute. It's from Madison and Berkeley. I got a large and this is the tank top. It's don't kale my vibe. Isn't that so cute? I've never had kale in my life, but in order to wear this top, I probably need to try it. The texture of it is kind of like that see-through material super soft it was $28 and it's long so I thought that would be really cute with like a pair of destroyed jeans which I'm loving white jeans anything just like with like some really high wedges wouldn't that be super cute and then like funky thick jewelry so yeah I've been loving that hardcore not summer related but it was on the sale rack and it was extremely inexpensive it was uh Let's see, this is from Bobo, I think. Yes, Bobo, and I love that brand. It was originally $44, and I got it for $26.40. This is just so incredibly cute. So it's a very lightweight sweater. I mean, you could probably wear it on a cool night. And then it has, like, do you see that the end of it? Oh, my gosh. So, so cute. And honestly, like, the, this fits really nicely. Like, it hangs really nice. I mean, Carly was like, oh, You've got to get that. So um, I got this. I got a medium. 
total medium in this. Absolutely love it. I will put the link below. Hopefully it's on that. Uh, a couple days ago, I think it was a, almost a week ago, I had a makeover with Carly. I will put all of her information below. So there is a gift with purchase for I think $100 over or $125. Three free day shipping. So you gotta call her because she totally knows her stuff. She's completely honest. She's not gonna just sell you something uh, just to like make the commission. She is so honest and that's why I love her. I'll be like, okay, I really want this cream. She's like, no, it's $300, don't buy it. And I'm like, okay. Just, I love people who will just like kind of tell you how it is and not say, oh my gosh, it's like the best thing in the world. I love it. It's just, I just love it. It's super pricey. Like Giorgio Armani doesn't mess around. I, it's this, I have a kind of funny story. I have tried this foundation twice and returned it and I finally got it to work after she showed me how to apply it. It's it in the skin. I, need, I feel like I need gloss. Do I need gloss? I feel like I do. Dead, a little dead. Rockin' bodies. It's the Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade 4. It's a beautiful luminous foundation. It's funny because I had a, a long history of a love-hate relationship with this. I wasn't obviously applying right. It's one of those foundations where it has a certain technique in order for it to look right and I just was never applying it until she told me that you need to use very short motions in order to kind of um, work it into your skin and make, you look, and make it look fabulous pretty much. I got a lipstick. This is my first lipstick that I've ever gotten from Giorgio Armani. She, this is not the one she used on me. The look was really pretty. She used some of their new like eye shears or eye like shimmery things and oh, I just wish I could buy everything but I can't. It's pink. 512 and I got uh, the Rouge D'Armani. This is what it looks like. It's a very weighty packaging and it has a magnetic cap. Oh, this is the color. That's the color right there. It's really pretty and ugh, it is just your typical rosy, rosy shade. It kind of looks pinker now that I'm looking at it than it did in the store. But on the lips, it's just like a very pretty, like rosy nude. So pretty, I love it. I got a, a gloss. Um, it's 528, and it's just like this sparkly pink with almost like this green duochrome to it. And I thought that it would look great, and it goes great with the. It goes great with the lipstick. Oh, it goes really pretty. I just put gloss on, but who cares? Yellow. So this is what the gift with purchase in case you want to call her and get it let me just show you what comes in it so you get a black ecstasy total effect effects intensity mascara ooh fancy and then you get the lip maestro intense velvet color in 400 what kind of color is this it's probably like a bright red one Ugh, it is it's just like a really bright red Ugh. i wish they would do nudes or something it's always like this generic red color uh, and then you get a luminous silk foundation in 5.5. That's going to be a little bit too dark, but maybe, you know, when I never go tanning, so that ain't happening. A fluid sheer in number two. These are awesome. She used like four or five colors on me. Oh, I'm excited to use this. This, I think the two, if I am, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is the lightest and it's a very pretty like highlight. She said this is like freaking amazing it's the Giorgio it's the um, youth memory eye serum she says this gives you a facelift and I have not tried it but basically if you pat it under your eyes and she says if you like hold your eye up and you pat it until it's dry it stays there and you get like a monstrous really good size for $150 so uh, hello if that actually works like sold completely sold so yeah I will let you know about that and I mean who doesn't want like a facelift eye cream <laughs> but last couple of things I per got three things from Mac and then I got one thing from Charlotte Tilbury uh, I had to order this I ordered this a long time ago and I forgot about it it's the chameleon color and this is the color morphing eyeshadow pencil I cannot wait to try her cream shadows and this is in Oh, this is for green eyes. It's bronzed garnet for green eyes. But honestly, I bet it'll work for blue as well. <sighs> oh my gosh. Do you see that? It is just a really pretty um, bronzy 
shade and it blends so nicely. Look at that. I did get three, three, <laughs> I did get uh, three things from MAC. Uh, one I did get online. I just thought I would throw it in here. So I got this matte lipstick. It's called Myrrh. It reminds me of Impractical Jokers. It's just a nice, rosy, mauve shade. Really nice. I like it. So I did, and it's a matte. And then um, I got two blushes. Okay, so this blush I had Carly get for me because it was, I have been wanting this for so long and it is stunning. I don't know why it took me so long to buy it, but I have to say that I want to do like a new updated MAC must haves or like starter kit. So just like the video if, that, if you want to see it. It's not going to be too, too long, but my like lists have changed and my products mostly have changed and so I thought that it'd be fun if I did that so it is called just a wisp it is just like this beautiful princess cool toned pink color and it's incredibly smooth and it goes on look at that oh my gosh it's really smooth and it has like this silvery kind of blue iridescence to it and I think it would make a beautiful highlight if you if this is going to be too light for you for a blush oh, so pretty not a fan of the packaging I have to say it takes me like five minutes to open it every time but I'll get the hang of it eventually that is another blush I don't hear a lot about and it's called I'm a lover and it's a pro long wear blush and I wanted to get it in the pan form but it's just a light again cool toned pink color right there so that is just just a wisp and then that is I'm a lover isn't that pretty and I think the two together would make a gorgeous cheek so I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one definitely check that out that is my haul and I hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and for just being here and listening to me ramble um, I'll see you next time bye